Okay, I prefer women to men anyway. You think we can find it? Find what? We could take just a little. She wouldn't know. Adrian would know. Besides, I don't know where it is. Yes, you do. Fuck you. That's enough. I think you should leave.
you gonna take a cab? We have to get back to the club. Adrian will be finished singing. We still have to make up for the fashion show. Open the door. I want to give you back your dress. Okay. Margaret. Wait for me. I'll go back to the club with you. My rhythm box is sweet. Never forgets the beat. So it's all set, Margaret. We'll come over tomorrow night. You are not supposed to be in here. Your roof is great, and you are even better. Jimmy, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night. I don't know. Oh come on, we'll have a great time and get some terrific shots. There's a chance to get them published in Midnight Magazine. What kind of drugs will you have? Anything you want. All right. My, me and my rhythm box, me and my rhythm box, me and my rhythm box, me and my rhythm box. Liquid sky, the key to heaven. The milk of paradise. That's what they used to call it. Paul, I don't want you to do it anymore. It's dangerous. So, see you tomorrow on Margaret's roof. And don't stay out all night. I want you looking fresh for the shoot. Do you want to look bad? I said yes. People have been using opiates for centuries. Ancient Egypt, Greece, Rome, India, China, everybody used it. Nobody thought it was destructive or dangerous. They, uh, they didn't think it was immoral to feel euphoric. Are you going to come to my roof tomorrow night? I'll decide that tomorrow night. All right, listen to me, everybody. Listen up. Getting restless? Let's start the show. <laughs> at the turn of the century you could buy a heroin derivative in any drugstore to cure your ills housewives loved it they used it for everything like aspirin everybody wants euphoria what's wrong with that i am not a housewife at the turn of the century and i do not want heroin in my house <laughs>
not just for pleasure. I use it to open my blocked creativity. Cocteau wrote great literature while high on opium. Cocteau was Cocteau before he ever did drugs. And what's that supposed to mean? That it's not going to help you. Down, don't you? Throwing your success in my face. Well, here, if you want to help me, hold this for me. Hold this. Say please. Please. Paul, I did it because I love you. <laughs> Still want some stuff. What do you think? Found any money yet? No, but I'm gonna get some. I can pay you tomorrow. No money, no stuff, babe. I'll have it tomorrow. Talk to me tomorrow. If you don't give me the stuff, I'm gonna rat on you. <laughs> you smashed up our place looking for it. Then he doesn't get any stuff tomorrow either. I have enough clients. Hey, Margaret, you want to snort some skag? Actually, I'd rather have cocaine. I hate you, you ugly chicken. Well, there's some guy on the dance floor offering cocaine to all the chicks. Why don't you ask him? Place. It's not far. Where's the cocaine? Did you ever do quaaludes before? I've done more quaaludes than you have aspirin. They don't excite me. These are lemons. You can't get them all the time. Listen, if I want downs, I can shoot heroin anytime I want. Where's the cocaine? Why don't you just take these, now? Because I don't want them. What, are you going to shove them down my throat or something? You're a model, right? Right. Where's the cocaine? I do soaps. Did you ever see me? I don't watch soaps. My father works for MGM. He gets me jobs. My father could help you. What are you saying? Your daddy's gonna help me break into show business? That's the corniest line I ever heard. My father could get you a job as an actress. You're pretty enough. He'd do it if I asked him. You should be nice to me. You just want to get laid. You'll say anything to get laid. Much. Swallow it! <coughs> swallow it! Swallow it! Come on, swallow it! Swallow it! <sighs> 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 
What's that supposed to do? Make me fall apart and spread my legs? Takes more than two coilers to do that, baby. Why don't you go home to your mama? Get me my flask. You want a drink? Yeah, please. You want a drink? Yeah. All right. All right. Is that better? I want my vision to be blurred so I don't have to look at your face. Oh, shit. What I want you to do is turn around, go over there, and stay put. Who are you? I live here. Are you her girlfriend? What difference does it make? Just curious. You like girls better than boys? I'm always curious about people who have to make those kind of sexual definitions. What do you mean? Homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual. Whether or not I like someone doesn't depend on what kind of genitals they have. As long as I find them attractive, don't you think? See, I, I, uh, I don't want to fuck a man, you know? I don't. OK. 
okay. It's your business. You like both men and women, then. What difference does it make to you? You're a junkie. You can't get it up anyway. How do you know? Hmm? Leave her alone. Leave me alone. Don't worry, it's a good count. I don't have any works. Can I use yours and do it here? I don't want to watch him. I wasn't talking to you. Your girlfriend, she's very pretty. She's a bitch. Mm-hmm. Margaret is an uptight wasp cunt from Connecticut. Can I use your works? Yeah, all right. But uh, give me an extra $4. Sure. Oh, do me a favor. Don't hang around after you get off. Relax, baby. Thanks a lot. You should be happy. Paul gave us some money. We can go out to lunch, so uh, get ready to go. You know, it takes this bitch two hours to get ready to go out somewhere. spotted in places with large amounts of heroin. Later, aliens appeared in specific subcultures, punk circles, still around heroin, and in these punk circles, many more strange deaths have occurred. <laughs> Apple pie, shit. Well, why don't you have something to eat, some cheese, some pate, some wine? What's so strange about death in punk circles? They kill each other by uh, shooting too much dope. Don't you remember when we were at um, Cambridge, there was a war, I think, between the, uh, they were called uh, mods and rockers, and they, they went at each other with bicycle chains? Now, I don't think your punks need help from the outside to kill themselves. My mother used to bake five or six apple pies at once. <laughs> apple pie. She put them in the porch to cool. We had an apple tree in our backyard. We would come in from play, and the porch would be filled with steam. But we couldn't have any pie until after dinner. You're lucky, baby. She sounds like a real angel. Listen, I happen to have a free evening tonight. Uh, I'd love for you to come by my place. I've done some changes. I'd love to know what you're doing. Come over for dinner. Well, I have an appointment with a fashion photographer. I can't get out of it. Well, I'm glad your career is going so well. You interrupted me. The most interesting fact we found, these killings occur during sexual intercourse. You know, my mom was great, listen to me. One time she came out of the hospital, right? And she was okay, she was cool, she was great. So she went out with this guy, this really straight guy, and they went to this really fancy restaurant. You know, the best in town, right? She's doing fine. And all of a sudden, man, 
all of a sudden she gets up on the balcony. She gets right up on the balcony, man, and she pulls up her skirt and she looks at all the people and she says, I'm Jesus Christ, man, I baptize you in the name of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. And she's pissed on everybody. Can you beat that? Shit. Then what happened? And they threw her back in. Thank you. Let's get a check, please. Remember the last time you were over at the studio? When was that? Six months ago. Right. Well, remember I... Uh, Remember there were a lot of people there? Well, several people came up to me and said, is that your brother? Of course you are my sister, Mama. I'll show you the documentation of our progress. You mean you made flights of sexual intercourse? They are gorgeous, you know. Hey, what Mom, can I have some it? money? Uh, I have to be running. I'll send you a check, all right? Great. Do you take American Express? I really need it, you know. Can I give you a lift uptown? No. I'm going down. That's not funny. We have not only located the UFO, but we have managed to photograph the creature inside of the craft and even made an attempt to classify its various emotional states. Baby, let's go to Berlin. They love me in Germany, baby. I'll be a star. <laughs> Just you and me and then... I'll buy you cocaine, a silver fox for your beautiful neck. Come on, the green. You think it'll be different there? You taking Owen up to our place? Yeah, well, I don't want to go there. I don't like Owen, baby. I don't want to see Owen. What's your schedule like? I need your help. I cannot get too close because it recognizes me and I'm a stranger in this country. There are some things which are difficult for me to study because of that. I, I watch the creature from the Empire State Building, but at night it is closed. How can I study the behavior of this creature if it's on, um, on private property? Well, I don't know. I, I'd like to help you, but uh, I don't know what you expect me to do. I'm just a college acting teacher. I, I, I'd like to help you in some way, but... Uh, I have an appointment right now. Can you can you get in touch tomorrow? This alien is killing people. You are the only person I know in New York. Telephone me tomorrow. Keep in touch, okay? Almost everything you've done since you've left me has been self-destructive. Adrian's a real bad influence on you. She doesn't care anything about you. She's only using you. You're ruining your uh, career, your future. What are you talking about? It's the only thing I care about, my career. What do you think I'm doing right now? I'm getting ready to shoot with the best photographer who I met at the club. Who's going to come here? Who only wants to go to bed with you. Your vocabulary is punctuated by two words, shit and fuck. What are you saying I should say, making love instead of fucking?
So what do you think? Is that better, Professor? I think you look like a hooker. And you act like a hooker. <laughs> and you're going to wind up in the hospital with some horrible sexual disease. <laughs> you don't understand, so I look like a hooker. So what? You like it. I know that you like it. So why should I live these lies? The way you want me to dress and behave is as a sweet housewife, slave of her husband's will. A hooker is at least independent. I'm nobody's victim. It's only fair that I warn them this pussy has teeth. You were my best student. I invested a lot of time in you. What are you saying? We spent most of our time in bed. Try to be nice. What do you think? Do you like this, Professor? I think you look better in jeans and a turtleneck. Yes, Professor. May I help you? Yes. Uh, what side of the buildings do your windows face? Oh, are you the fire inspector? No, I'm a scientist. Well, I put my fire extinguisher in and my exits are all accessible. I'm, I'm a scientist. And you're studying windows? Well, windows have something to do with my research. You see, I'm an astrophysicist and I'm researching some phenomenon which has happened in some countries. I'm from West Berlin. Uh, let me show you my identification. See, mm -hmm. have you had dinner? No. Well, it just so happens I have a free evening tonight. Why don't we go upstairs and discuss it over a bite to eat? All your costumes, they're just participation in some kind of phony theater. I'm only telling you this for your own good. It's a freak show. Are you trying to say that your blue jeans weren't theater? It's not the same thing. So your professor wore a three-piece suit and blamed you for your jeans. For him, your jeans were too much. And he didn't understand that his suit was also a costume. You thought your jeans stood for love, freedom, and sexual equality. We at least know we're wearing costume. me now, right? You have the best legs. <laughs> we both have good legs. If we had children that have the best legs to stand on. I thought I looked ugly and would give you diseases. This is a perfect place for watching. I'm ordering some Chinese. Is that okay? It's perfect. It's Great. perfect. You're all wet. You have no right to do that. I'm not your possession. <laughs> and it's so simple, isn't it? Well, you can't have me.
I want to make love to you. Well, I'm telling you for this, for your own good, I, I think you should go home. You spend all your energy trying to uh, get me excited, and then you want to throw me out? Please leave. Come here. Okay, I'd like two orders of uh, shrimp fried rice, an order of uh, shrimp and pea pods, an order of shrimp with lobster sauce, and an order of jumbo shrimp. That's what I'm working on. Are you a researcher? No, I'm a television producer. Do you think that they exist? So you're looking for heroin and you don't want the police to know about it, hmm? Listen, this really has nothing to do with drug traffic. What can I do? Nobody really knows the true nature of these aliens. You're from Germany? Yes, from Berlin. I'm Jewish. So, well, what connection do you think there can possibly be between UFOs and heroin? What the fuck is going on in here? Have you ever seen a UFO? Yes, this morning. That's why I'm here. Well, that's very interesting. Would you like a drink? You can see it as well. I can see a UFO? Yes, through your window. You mean I can go over there to my window and I can look out and I can see a UFO? No, but you can see it through my telescope. Oh, you have a telescope with you. Yes, in my case. Well, why don't you set it up? I've always dreamed about seeing a UFO. Say, what did you say you were drinking? Dead now, shit. And you're going to hell. Straight from your marijuana jungles. Straight from your lies, your lies, your lies. You dropped it. We'll go to hell. I'll go to hell too. But I know I'm damned. And you never knew. So you weren't ready to toll the bell. <laughs> For me, it's easy. If you want to see an alien craft, you will see it. Look. You know, I always dreamt to fuck a dead man. Now's my chance. You're crazy. Sure I am, baby. <laughs> That's why you like me, so let... Don't you touch him. You want any? Don't do it! <laughs> if you don't like it, baby, you don't have to. Crazy. Don't do it. 
Don't get Mara with me. This is my place. I'll do what I want here. Uh, don't you call me that, you low-class freaking monster. Monster! I'm a monster. You let these guys walk on your bones, bitch. You're gonna kill me with syphilis one day, you dirty cunt! Don't talk to me like that. Your mother was nuts. Your father was a bum. You'll never go anywhere but to the bar where you belong with the bums. You better watch your mouth or I'll cut your face and nobody will ugly cunt. Why did you have to do that to him? He was a good man. He never did anything to you. Well, that's a dead body. Now let me see. That's an alien craft. That's an alien craft. Well, isn't it kind of small? The alien craft is about the size of a dinner plate. Uh, whoever told you that uh, aliens need as much space as people? Uh, well, that's really quite a world that you show me. Where German scientists are as tall as the Empire State Building. And aliens are as big as jumbo shrimp. I have available no other world to show you. Well, isn't it possible that that might be a child's toy and not a UFO? Don't worry, forget it. We're gonna leave this fucking place, baby. We're going to Berlin. I'm gonna sing in the nightclubs. You know, Germans love me. We'll be happy. What are we going to do with this body? Don't worry about the body. I know what to do. You want to do it right now? Are you sure this has something to do with a UFO? Looks like two women just killed a man. This is not my first encounter with the aliens. Just watch a little longer. You will see for yourself what will happen there. Why don't they call the police? Why don't we call the police? They don't want the police to be involved. Why? Everyone has its own reasons for not wanting the authorities in their home. They have a very good reason. They have heroin there. I sure wouldn't like to be in their shoes right now. I wouldn't like it either. Going to Berlin, baby, aren't we? Sure. You know, we should have a wake. There's no food. So I'll go to the store and get some food. The police are no protection from aliens. Oh, and you have protection from aliens? You have a laser gun in your pants? I 
think I need another drink. Oh, wake up, honey. Come on, get up and take a shower. I feel sick, Kathy. I know you feel sick. You've done drugs today. No. Come on, honey, stand up. It'll make you feel better. Guests are already starting to arrive. You can't go to the party like this. No. You are a brave noble knight. Why don't you go over there and free those two beauties from the dragon? That's exactly what I'm going to do. You're going over to the apartment? No, uh, the little one just went out. I'm going to try to warn her. Are you serious? Yes. Oh. Wow, you really are brave. You're the first man to ever leave me just before we're about to have dinner. Fuck the guests. Fuck the party. She's gonna sleep here. Are you serious? I'm so fucking movie serious. Don't talk to me like that. Why can't I? Because this is your loft. Because you pay the Come rent. Come on, let's not start that fine. subject again. I didn't start the subject. You did. I don't care. Was... I'm sorry, but I, I'll be right back. Uncle, don't expect me to wait for you. I don't like cold Chinese food. I don't intend to start liking it now. I'm sorry, but duty is more important than trips. <laughs> well, the duty is yours. The house is mine. And in my house, shrimps are more important than duty. I'm going to sleep. Right. You ruined your career, now you want to ruin mine? You know I've invited everybody to this. You know how hard I've worked to make everything perfect and you never even looked a finger to help me. Now you want to humiliate me, embarrass me in front of my clients. You want to just prove to everybody that you're a failure, that you take dope, you take drugs, that you've never made any money from any of your films or books or anything that you've ever done, but mainly, you want to humiliate me. That's your point. But I'm such a fool to put up with you. Well, if you don't like me, leave. This is my house. Leave my house. If you don't want to get dressed up and behave like you have some sort of self-respect, you just leave. Big cock. Sorry, I wish I knew how to tell you. If you got something to say, copper, spit it out. You, you, you are in a dangerous situation. Men, listen, let me tell you something. You guys won't catch me, man. Never. And I don't understand why you're being so stupid, copper, letting me know what's coming down. That's really dumb. Copper, what does that mean? I, I can help oh. you. You don't understand. I can help you. Oh, you're a rat, man? You want me to put you on the take so in exchange you can let me know when your little invasion's coming? Invasion? Yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you know about the invasion? Oh, shut your face, scab. I don't play it your way. Just forget. It. I don't need you, man. So just fuck off.
still sitting in front of the mirror? Adrian isn't here. I didn't come here to see Adrian. Well, I don't have any dope for you. You have to see her about that. I don't want any dope. What do you want? To entertain you. So how do you expect to entertain me? The way men have always entertained women. I'm going to show you the difference between men and women. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm not going to make you laugh. I'm going to make you come. So what? I can come with it without you. You think I can't get it up? Huh? I don't care, and I want to fuck, I'll let someone else know about it, not you. Oh, I know you're wishing for a big, hard man. Seems to me that too many men today are telling me what I want. What I'm wishing is that you would leave. What are you going to do if I stay? Call the cops? They'd love a chance to get in here. You think that's sexy? You think I'm turned on by that? Make me sick, you wimpy junkie. Fucking dyke. Just a dyke. You're so attractive to me, I'm just coming and coming. Shut up, cunt. You're not coming yet. Dyke. You sick pig. I don't need your cock for anything. You're nothing. You're nobody. You're nothing. You're nothing. All right, whore. You're gonna be sorry. You're right! And you fuck me, see? Because it doesn't matter to me because you don't exist. You're nothing. You're nobody. You just don't exist. You're just a fly. Okay. Are you studying stars, Miss Sylvia? Exactly. Thank you. Oh, my God. God, Miss Sylvia? Oh, add uh, 20%. Very good. Thank you. pleasure. How did your meeting go with the girl? She didn't believe me. <laughs> Who would believe a man who's capable of waiting till the shrimp gets cold? Well, what have you got? Oh. This is for you. This is what I drink. I Ooh, thought... Thank you. Oh, stargazing after dinner. Hmm? Unless you're going to start talking about your duty again. <laughs> Here. Open it. To the success of your project. To a beautiful and perfect hostess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't have all these bodies. It just seems like everybody is involved with drugs. Not only teenagers, but everybody. 
And now you're telling me that aliens have come here and they're also looking for drugs. I, it's just incredible. Corpses. All these corpses here. All these dead people. Please. No more bodies. You did it for me. <laughs> you did it for me, Chief. Why? Who are you? Why don't you come to me? Well, it seems to be strange that the alien is interested in heroin. But there could be a lot of reasons for that. You know now, for example, because of the research of a few American scientists in the late 70s, there are special receptors, opiate receptors in the human brain. Heroin, codeine, morphine all belong to the same chemical family derived from the poppy. They are called opiates. That's what so that's what they found these Americans. That they are special receptors in the human brain to receive opiate molecules. Well, what are these opiate receptors doing sitting around in the human brain? Waiting for someone to come along and, and give them heroin? <laughs> What I got for you? Some physicians think there's a naturally occurring molecule in the human body with nearly the same molecular structure as opiates. Well, you mean to say that opium occurs naturally in the human body? Not opium. I said nearly the same molecular structure with nearly the same properties. Opium users have said that the drug creates a similar feeling than what people experience uh, during uh, orgasm. It could be that this molecule is released into the brain during orgasm. During orgasm? Wow. That's very interesting. Are you gonna fuck him? He's dead. He's beautiful. I'm not playing house, baby. You are. Why don't you fuck him? Get him real juicy. Stick him in the oven and then we'll fuck. I know it's cheered you up before. Good fuck, huh? Please continue about orgasm. I have a theory. If all humans have in their, some, their brain some substantial process based on the opiate mechanism of action, why can't there exist somewhere in the universe some other form of conscious life which would depend on this mechanism even more? This would attract the alien to heroin. Well, according to you, to humans as well during orgasm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't that mean that um, orgasms are uh, dangerous? What, are you going to cook or something, Margaret? I forgot. I mean, I forgot the time. I'm not ready. Oh, don't worry about it. That's what their job is. They're going to fix you up beautiful. Don't move. I love it. The chicken is great. Let me get a shot. What are you doing? You can't go around snapping pictures of people when they're not ready. Calm down, darlings. I've got some cocaine for you. And I don't want any bickering. We are going to have a marvelous time. Turn on some music. Where's the cocaine? Margaret, this is Nellie. She's the fashion editor for Midnight Magazine. She's longer legs than yours, hasn't she, Margaret? I'd like to ask you a few questions. You don't mind, do you? No, Margaret, what are you doing? Turn it off. No. So this is where it is. If she doesn't want, she doesn't want. Put the lights over here, over here. There's an outlet over there. Why? What did you take your nasty pills this morning? You know where they have the drugs? How should I know? Ask Jack. Drugs? Don't be impatient, be cool. Where's the other bag? Ryan was right. This roof is perfect. Who's okay? Want me to push you off? Of course. 
This fucking city is really something. Monica, what have you done to yourself now? She can't hide in a chicken as a chicken. Come on, Jimmy. You're both so beautiful, and you look alike. Be nice. I'm not a chicken. Ouch. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I didn't know your scalp was so sensitive. Hey, how long is it? Now, don't get anything dirty. And tape the tags on the inside. It's not necessary to cut them. Where's the cocaine? Dwayne? Can you fix us a few lines, darling? Here, I've got some blow to it over here. I'd like to ask you a few questions about your childhood. Come here, Lex. Can't you see she's busy? I'll tell you about her childhood. My favorite combination is brandy and... Now, Margaret grew up in Connecticut. She went to church every Sunday. This is her when she was 16. Consult me about it. I think, Jane, the hairdresser. Hair stylist. Hair stylist is right. We don't need this accessory. The image should be simple. that Adrian was just showing me indicate a fairly traditional upbringing, yet you seem to have veered off towards some obscure fantasy look. Look, 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 look. Frankly, this bird of paradise routine is done every day in Las Vegas and better. It's tacky. You're tacky. What do you mean by wearing all this weird makeup and strange clothes? Clothes, clothes, clothes. Nothing. You don't admit to dressing strange? Strange. Strange. You're strange. Strange. What do you mean by that? I'm not wearing rags. You're wearing what they want from you, baby. Who they? America. What do you mean, America? I'm American. She's American. He's American. Where are you from? Detroit. Las Vegas. Kremlin, Montana. El Paso. Where are you from? Philadelphia. See, we got the whole country represented here. Right. It's the melting pot. And this pot. chicken is the Miss America of the 80s. Put the chicken in the pot. No, Jimmy. You are. <laughs> 
here he is, Miss America. <laughs> no, I think Margaret is Miss America. I think it's Jimmy. You just say that because you're gay. Oh, he's not gay all the time. I seriously think Jimmy is the new Miss America. He has all the mannerisms of a sex symbol. That's what we should call this. Make it a series. The two Miss Americas. Great idea. And we could end it with the two of them fucking. He can't fuck. I can't do fuck. I just can't fuck you. You two are just too chicken to be photographed fucking. Chicken woman. He's the chicken, not I. That sounds like a challenge to me, Jimmy. You're just a chicken. You're just a chicken. Please, Jimmy, don't start on me now. You look tired. You look old and ugly and washed up. Stop it, Jimmy. You don't understand anything. <sighs> what I don't understand is why anybody would want to take your picture. That's what I don't understand. Go to it. You're just a freak, a weirdo. Behind your back, everybody laughs at you. They call you chicken woman. That's why you look just like her. <laughs> Such a sweet boy. Don't step on that shoe. We'll have to pay for it. Clock, clock. One day, the chicken woman had chicks, and everybody stepped on them, because they were so ugly. Clock, clock. Don't talk to her like that. We still have trolls of film. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. With a chick chick here and a chick chick there, here a chick there, a chick everywhere, chick chick. Oh, McDonald had a farm, E I E I O. <laughs> what is going on? What's going on? Why are they all being so mean? Being mean here and in the club is no fucking difference than all those fuckers out on the street or anybody else in the goddamn world. Only difference is out there, they all pretend to be nice. And in here, we ain't pretending shit. Clock. Clock. What do you mean nobody's pretending? They're all dressed up like they're going to a masquerade or they're on stage and playing hoodlums. Everybody talks about your famous bags. The biggest eye bags around. Chicken woman with the eye bags. <laughs> it's just like the three penny alpha. You're too old to model. Don't make me hate you. You're so ugly. And you are so beautiful. <laughs> You're the most beautiful boy in the world. You're the most beautiful boy. What? I don't care what you say. I can only love you. Margaret, what's wrong with you? Let me see your eyes. Ooh. Ooh. God, what eyes. Chicken woman. Come on, Jimmy. And your lips. Ooh. You're so old and ugly, I can't look at you. Come on, she's beautiful. <laughs> no, I know I'm ugly. You should punish me. I'm not good enough for you. I'm just an old and ugly whore. The oldest and the ugliest. Ooh. You should beat me. If you want to. I'll beat her. Come on, do it. Move the lights. Pay attention. Get out of the way. Quickly, quickly! Yeah, you want me to hit you? Whatever you want, I'll do it.
you asked for it. Let me see your beautiful cock. Come on, baby. I'll do it good. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. I can't. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. You are the most beautiful boy. You are the most beautiful fucker. We want to see you fuck her. Fucker, fucker. Get him, Margaret, you whore. Do it, do it. Give it to me, baby. Do it. 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 I can't. Come on, you can do it. 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 Oh shit. This pussy has teeth. No one should fuck me ever. What'd you do with him, Margaret? I killed him. So where's the body? I don't know. Would somebody go look on the roof? Nothing out here. What's in the box? This is it a magic trick? No, hon, it's no magic trick. I keep dead bodies in there so I can fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian, you should leave me alone. You should leave me alone. What are you talking about? I killed him. How? I kill all the people that fuck me. That's it. If you fuck me, you'll die. Come off it, baby. No, it's true. I'm saying it's not true. I'm serious. I'm serious, too. Hey, yo! How many people want me to see, uh, to fuck Margaret and not die? It's too much, Adrian. Lay off. There's something very strange going on here. I'm going to leave. You're right, there's something strange going on here. I'll bet you $300 I can fuck Margaret and not die. Of course you won't die. But I'm not sure if watching you two fuck is worth $300. <laughs> but it sure sounds interesting. Adrian. I'd like to watch, but I'm not sure Margaret's in the mood. Adrian! You should stay away from me, I'm a killer. You like to fuck, baby, better than anything in the world. I don't want you. Why not? Because I am killing all the people that I fuck. <laughs> you kill me, bitch! That's the joke of all time. Adrian. Leave me alone. 
You like it, hon. You like it. Don't do it, Adrian. These good people want to see me. Fuck you now. I'm gonna fuck you. No! We're gonna go away, right? We're gonna go away. Yeah, we're going to Berlin, hon, right after you fuck me. Wait a minute. If we think clearly, this can all be explained. It's easy to explain. You wanted to know who and what I am? I'm a killer. I kill with my cunt. You can write about it in Midnight Magazine or National Enquirer. It's going to be the new sensation. to know where I'm from? I'm from Connecticut. Mayflower stock. I was taught that my prince would come and he would be a lawyer and I would have his children and on the weekends we would barbecue and all the other princes and their princesses would come and they would say, delicious, delicious. Oh, how boring. So I was taught that I should come to New York, become an independent woman. And my prince would come, and he would be an agent. And he would get me a role, and I would make my living waiting on tables. And I would wait till 30, till 40, till 50. And I was taught that to be an actress, one should be fashionable. And to be fashionable is to be androgynous. And I am androgynous no less than David Bowie himself. And they call me beautiful. And I kill with my cunt. Isn't it fashionable? Come on, who's next? I'll take lessons. How to get into show business. Be nice to your professor. Be nice to your agent. Be nice to your audience. Be nice. How to be a woman. I want them when I want you. I ought to be free and equal. Fuck women instead of men. And you'll discover a whole kingdom of freedom. Men won't step on you anymore. Women will. So come on, who's next? Who wants to teach me? Come on, teach me. Are you afraid? 
you're right. Because they're all dead. All my teachers. What time is it? What? We'll go to the club. We'll go to the club, we'll dance. There's nothing else to do, we might as well dance. Come on, let's go, let's go. looking for Adrian? Adrian is dead as every man for himself. thrills me. You're glad? Sure I am, baby. You're the man. I love your sexy body. You're freaky. <laughs> sure I am, baby. Freaky for you. Let's go to my place. Come on. <laughs> well, Johan, now that we've had dinner and uh, coffee and everything, why don't you take off your jacket and, and make yourself at home? <laughs> I think I should update my notes. Oh, you're absolutely right. Now is the perfect time. This is going to be the fuck of your lifetime. Well, I've got some coke. I don't care about that. I just want you now. Orgasms. Hmm? Wasn't that the subject that we were discussing? I think that right now I should study this alien. Do aliens have orgasms? They don't even have bodies. <laughs> well, you're an alien in this country. And I wouldn't exactly complain about your body. <laughs> Do sit down. Oh, well. <clears throat> Killing people. What would you say about a person who had multiple orgasms? I would say this person is uh, very sexy. <laughs> and would you be interested in studying such a person? Being a scientist and a German alien?
I must go over there. She's in great danger. I'm sorry. Anybody here by the name of Adrian? Sure. together now. Where are you? Why don't you come out? What do you want? My name is Jorn Hoffman. I'm a scientist. I've come to get you out of here. We should leave immediately. What do you know? I've watched you through your window. I have witnessed the death from over there. I know how and why they died. You're in great danger. Come with me. So you tell me why they died. What difference does it make to you now? Come with me. Wait a minute. You come in my place and you want me to leave and you don't want to tell me why? Okay, you have a creature, an alien creature on your roof. Where? I study these creatures. You are in great danger. Come with me. Tell me where he is. You want to die? No. L let me explain. Let me go. Let me explain. Let my go. theory is, my theory is that these creatures, aliens, feed of people like we feed of other creatures, and that they need for sustenance a substance similar to opiates. Heroin is an opiate. So this one came here for it, and we found something better. That substance is produced in the brain during orgasm and is similar in chemical structure to opiates. It is killing to get this substance. Well, he didn't kill me, did he? Why didn't he kill me? Did you have an orgasm? No. Third Indian? Time. Indian, where are you? Why don't you come out? Over there. Indian. Indian, come out now. We can be together now. Come out. You can feed on me if you want to. It's okay. I don't mind. I know you care for me. We can be happy. I want to make love with you.
So on these floors, okay? I have to go straight to the penthouse. The penthouse, that's the same as the roof, isn't it? That's right. where I'm going. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Adrian's having a party, huh? Adrian? Who's Adrian?